This film is about peer mediation training at White Craig Primary School in East Lothian, Scotland. We spent two days in August 2011 with Primary 5 and Primary 6 pupils so that they could learn mediation skills and techniques with a view to setting up their own peer mediation project. This piece of work was a collaboration between Common Ground Mediation and the Scottish Mediation Network. What do we mean by peer mediation? Peer mediation is all about pupils in schools learning how to resolve disputes and arguments. It's a way of helping friends when they fall out or when there is an argument or misunderstanding in the playground. Research shows that peer mediation can benefit school communities in many ways, including improved behaviour and attendance, improved relationships, and a more inclusive, caring and calm environment for learning. Peer mediation aims to teach pupils, teachers and the whole school community about ways to resolve conflict effectively and positively. Children and young people are encouraged to take charge of their own conflicts in the playground and not always to rely on an adult to sort things out for them. Peer mediation fits in well with the Scottish Curriculum for Excellence which aims to ensure that all children and young people in Scotland develop the knowledge, skills and attributes they will need if they are to flourish in life, learning and work, now and in the future. What does peer mediation training involve? The programme begins with a welcome and introductions and some work on getting to know each other. Mediation skills focus on good communication and effective listening and the activities and games used aim to teach these skills in a fun way. The importance of good listening is emphasised and runs as a constant thread throughout the two days and we also look at the importance of body language and non-verbal communication and how mediators show that they are listening. In between the games and fun activities the pupils learn about the five stages of the mediation process and have plenty of opportunity to try these out and practice. Pupils work in groups of four with two co-mediators working together to help two disputants role play and talk about their problems and how they would like to resolve them. By the end of the peer mediation training many pupils decide that they would like to be peer mediators in their school. Others may decide that it's not something they want to do but there are still lots of jobs and practical steps towards setting up a peer mediation project that they can help with. For example, making posters about peer mediation or making a presentation at assembly to tell the younger pupils about mediation. But whether or not pupils go on to be peer mediators in their own school, they have all had the opportunity to take part in the training that's not only fun, but teaches them essential life skills both now and for the future. Pupils' evaluation of the two days is overwhelmingly positive. Further information about peer mediation training for schools in Scotland is available from the Scottish Mediation Network and Common Ground Mediation.